Okay, let's revisit our lead story this hour on the African and Arab uh, leaders that are meeting in Kuwait for a two-day summit. It's the main aim is to review steps to promote economic ties between Gulf and African states. And this will be the first meeting since 2010 when leaders met in Libya. That was before the unrest swept the region. Let's discuss this issue further. Zayad Akil is a senior analyst and researcher with the Al-Ahram Center for Strategic Studies in Egypt. He joins us live from Cairo. Mr. Akil, thank you for being with us. Now, the last Africa-Arab summit was held in Libya, like I said, in 2010. What has been achieved since then? Excuse me? Mr. Akil, can you I, hear us? I, I didn't hear that question. Yes, I can hear you. Can you well, just you saying that the last Africa-Arab summit was held back in 2010 in Libya and wondering what has been achieved since then. Well, well, since then, actually, the whole, the whole region has been in, in, in very heavy transition. And we have to ask ourselves if there was actually some kind of um, scope where, where, where something could have been achieved. So far, there are so many um, challenges in each of, of, of the Arab um, countries that are facing transitions, even the ones that did not um, uh, witness direct um, um, uh, revolutions or direct collective actions like Morocco, for example, and Jordan are also facing transitions. There are, there are so many um, barriers to any cooperation that could have been achieved in these past two years. And this is why pretty much in, 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 in 2013, we are one way or the other almost in the same place as we were in 2010. Now, one of the main issues being discussed in this meeting is creating an Africa-Arab joint market of about 1.2 billion people. Is this achievable? Well, I think it, it very much depends on um, a lot of the uh, rate of political stability in the region, but it, 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 it could be achievable if, if the... Um, if the, if, if the right amount of investments are actually politically um, guarded and, and ensured uh, security and stability. All right, let's leave it there for now. Mr. Zayad Akil joining us live from Cairo. Thank you very much for your time.